If you scroll back through my videos as far as you can go, you'll find a 20 minute documentary on celebrating Hearthswarming Eve as a real life holiday. It doesn't have many views, but I think it's one of the most fun videos on my channel. That said, the white space behind it is deceptive, as this was not my first video. Newer viewers may not remember that for the first month or so, my videos featured full screen footage of the show before Hasbro started blocking pony videos in January 2013. Eventually, to avoid the risk of more copyright strikes, I removed all of those videos. But the first one I ever did was actually thoroughly analyzing Too Many Pinkie Pies on November 29th, 2012, one year ago. To celebrate the one year anniversary of my channel, I'm gonna have a little fun and answer a question I've gotten a number of times. Any follower of this channel will know that I'm a big fan of Applejack and that Applebuck season is my favorite episode of My Little Pony, but also that I've found every Applejack episode since then to be sorely lacking. The question posed at both me and at the community in general has been, what do you think the writers could do to make a good Applejack episode? My biggest concern with Applejack is that they keep trying to give her personal issues to deal with, but these issues don't resonate with us because we already understand Applejack's character and development too firmly. She's stubborn and her family matters to her. We get that so early on that it seems weird to keep dedicating episodes to these facts. Applejack, more than any other pony, does a lot of legwork as a support character throughout the episodes and gets so much footage of being a straight mare and a family mare that reiterating these points in full episodes feels like a waste of time. Applejack doesn't need more episodes dedicated to her old conflicts, nor does she need the show to invent new ones for her. What Applejack needs is more episodes in which she helps other ponies with their problems. AJ rocks in major support roles like in Sister Who's Social, Sleepless in Ponyville, and even the otherwise maligned Spike at Your Service. She's a great pony for others to bounce their zaniness and problems off of, so what if there were an episode all about Applejack trying her hardest to find solutions to the complex problems of her friends? She'd essentially be playing Twilight Sparkle for a day, but whereas Twilight solves problems with magic and knowledge, AJ would be solving them with intuition and her down-to-earth rugged cunning. Another idea might be, what if AJ had to shoulder some problems with major real-life consequences, not just for her family? Maybe she'd be tasked to lead the season's harvest in some fashion. But again, the issues which arise are not her own, but with the ponies she works with. It's not her stubbornness or perfectionism which gets in the way, but her struggle with being a good enough leader to figure out ponies with very different sets of problems. Again, this would come out a bit like Twilight's role in Winter Wrap-Up though, which leads me to think that maybe too many of the things Applejack is good for are things that Twilight is good for, which might be why the show focuses so much on the traits that they don't share. The Applejack episode I've always wanted the most, however, is a purely slice of life story with no overarching conflict and as little dialogue as possible. You might be thinking that this sounds incredibly boring, but that's exactly the point. In Japan, they have this genre and general concept called Iyashike, which roughly translates to healing. Some relatively popular Iyashike anime are the likes of Arya, Yokohama Shopping Log, Hidamari Sketch, and Natsume Yujincho, etc. These are shows that generally have a very slow and relaxing tempo, often with a focus on atmosphere and heartwarming dialogue over major conflict. Applejack would be the perfect character to have an Arya-esque daily life episode, starting from her morning routine, going up through farm duties, little interactions with her family, quiet scenes of relaxation, chilling out with one or two friends for a little while, and hanging up her hat at the end of the day for bed. The episode almost writes itself, yet there's virtually no chance such a boring episode would ever be put into the show. The reason I want an episode like this so much is that, as meaningful and interesting as it can be to witness character conflicts, it can be equally resonant to be reminded of our everyday lives with their own little highs and lows, periods of quiet and introspection and day-to-day micro-conflicts, problems that solve themselves, little arguments that aren't ordeals of differing view sets, and days when everything just goes right and you have a great time. Applejack is perfect for this kind of role because unlike Rainbow Dash Rarity in Twilight, she isn't really striving for anything more than what she already has. And unlike Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie, she isn't struggling with any major personality issues. The lesson of this Applejack episode would be to experience satisfaction, contentedness, being reminded that sometimes we don't need to be worried about who we are or what's up ahead, but can just relax and enjoy life as it comes. It's a lesson that's less about growing as a person and more about achieving fullness as a person, feeling not just that you've accomplished something, but that you're content 
with what you've already accomplished. Anyways, that about wraps up the first year of my channel. More so than Applejack, I feel like Twilight Sparkle as of Season 4 moving forward. I've got these new wings, but I'm still figuring out how to use them, and I'm not really sure what the future might bring. There's a few more keys left to unlocking my full potential, and I've got a lot of adventures left in me before I'm really gonna hit my stride. That said, I'm proud of where I've come, and I'm confident that I'm going to continue doing well for myself. Here's a toast to everyone that's followed this channel over the past year, friends and trolls alike. You guys helped make this by far the best year of my life, and I hope you'll stick with me as I make next year even better. Yeah, he thought to himself, hmm, my favorite little tree isn't such a little tree anymore.